Look out. Here oh, we man. go with this steel cage match. Well, the oh. door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves into. What a stomp. Good grief. Hooked up. Uh, inverted suplex. That hurt. What a strike. Right on the mark. It's a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's this superstar right here. Beautiful technique. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Oh, the referee better get a hold of things. How could they get away with that? That's not legal. You gotta believe this one's over. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. Whatever happens, it's not gonna be good. I can tell you that. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. When she gets in attack mode, look out! What a stomp! Good grief! Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s through the mid-1980s, chain link. Oh, boy. Look out for a power oh, bomb. bomb. Not done yet. Hold not on. Again, not again. Oh, multiple power bombs. Truly devastating, Cole. Uh-oh. Ratting down the hatches. Face buster. Man, that was vicious. Here's our chance. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot-high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from the cage. Oh, what impact! Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the two men were able to battle inside a steel cage, which at the time was the most grueling match in all of WWE. The Ultimate Warrior dominated early on with his incredible strength. Rick Rude turned the tables and used the steel surroundings to his advantage. At one point, Rude dove from the top of the cage onto the Warrior. But after the Warrior's signature Gorilla Press Slam, the Ultimate One climbed over the cage and retained his WWE Championship. Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was... Yes! Takes it! Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. These ladies weren't world beaters in this one, but the match provided a few fireworks. She'll be happy with the victory here, but overall, the match wasn't as good as I hoped it would be before it started. Happens here sometimes. Here is your winner, Young I You. They proved who the better competitor was tonight. Hey, this isn't just about going out there and making sure everybody's entertained. 
you got to win your matches. And that's exactly what happened here. A will to win was on display.